Welcome to the PaxX Update, bringing the top passenger experience headlines for the week ending December 19th, 2019. The first commercial electric aircraft took flight on Tuesday, marking a milestone in the industry. The Harbor Air Beaver replaced its regular piston engine with an electric motor from Magnix and a whole bunch of batteries to power the four minute journey. A long way yet to go, but the companies expect that battery pack density and charging technology could see the system in passenger service within a couple of years. Keeping on the topic of first flights, the Ember E2 family is finally fully flying. The E-175-E2 made its inaugural sortie in Brazil, kicking off a 24-month flight test campaign. With the program underway, the company will also be seeking customers. The launch order from U.S. regional carrier SkyWest canceled in the face of U.S. pilot scope clause challenges. Africa could offer potential, however, as Congo Airways signed for two of the first gen E-175s and indicated that the E-2 could play a role in a follow-on order. The A321 XLR will soon fly for United Airlines and Chile's Sky. The former ordered 50 of the type to replace its aging 757 fleet, while the latter picked up 10 to grow its operations, including possibly non-stop service from Miami to Chile. But Boeing's NMA program isn't completely dead yet, as Delta CEO Ed Bastian hinted his company is still awaiting a twin aisle option to fill the segment gap during the company's investor day briefing. Moving to larger aircraft, the A350 received a ringing endorsement from two different airlines this week. Air France added 10 of the 900 series to its order book, accelerating retirement of the A340s and replacing the A380s by the end of 2022. Qantas is also keen on the A350, announcing that a slightly modified version of the 1000 series will be the aircraft of choice for its Project Sunrise efforts, though still no guarantees that program flies. Finally, Panasonic Avionics confirmed that it is a customer on the Eutelsat 10B, a new satellite slated to fly in 2022. It is the second component of the company's extreme throughput satellite program and should boost in-flight connectivity performance across Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Keep up with these stories and more all week long at PaxX.Aero and have a great trip!